So I think one of the opportunities of virtual reality is to really mix the science and the magic. VR is unique in that it can really immerse a person completely. They can get a sense of the scale of something. That's really important for a T-Rex, because T-Rex is very big. And you really feel like you're there. You feel like you're in the Cretaceous period, face to face with a T-Rex. And there's just no replacing that level of immersion. We are all about bringing VR into education, whether it be schools, libraries, and museums. But we really feel that bringing this immersive technology in VR into these spaces allows you to visualize, experience art, science, history, and culture in ways that you can never experience before. When you think about natural history museums, you think only of the American Museum of Natural History. It's the most iconic uh, institution out there. We've been experimenting with VR for a couple of years now, knowing that it's something that uh, visitors were very interested in, and knowing that it would, it's a great opportunity for us to engage them in the three and four dimensional data sets that our scientists are working in. When HTC Vive approached us for a potential collaboration, we saw it as a real opportunity to move from prototyping and experimentation into full implementation. And so together, through this collaboration, we've been able to create a cutting-edge, multiplayer, interactive, wireless experience. Social experiences bring families together, that's why they come to the museum. So to be able to bring them into VR and not isolate them and instead allow them to see each other and experience that Cretaceous world together, that really is something that we strive for. So once we had a creative concept, uh, we worked very closely with the scientists with our T-Rex model um, to ensure the accuracy of the placement of the bones, for instance. The T-Rex in the VR experience is really the same T-Rex we have here. So this model back here is a, kind of the latest and greatest, and we feel by far the most accurate T-Rex model that's ever, reconstruction that's ever been developed. So visitors will get to spend a couple of minutes actually assembling a T-Rex skeleton, and then thanks to the magic of virtual reality, we can fully assemble that entire V-Rex skeleton, and it will come to life and the visitors will be transported from a museum hall to the paleo environment to Hell's Creek, Montana, where the T-Rex roamed 65 million years ago. This VR experience brings uh, the goals of science visualization to life as no other platform could. We were able to transport visitors back to the time of Tyrannosaurus rex and put them in place with the Tyrannosaur. They could really get a sense of the scale of that enormous creature. They got a sense of what it would be like to be right face to face with Tyrannosaurus rex. And that's bringing the science to life.